A couple of things I want you to think about. First of all, okay, basic preparation hand. This hand is coming over above, it's like as a guard, as a block, as something. This hand is underneath to your hip, and as you're rotating your hip in. And then as you counter rotate, of course, this tetsu is coming out, and you're making the take. So you're trying to get that coordination with your hip, and in a final connection, squeeze them block in, yeah? Squeeze them block. So make sure that you're trying to coordinate everything with your hip. Hand comes to your hip, hand prepares, hand excuse, hand comes back to hikite. But it's all coordinated by, by this rotation, then this rotation. Oh, rotating completely around, then executing. As we do it one count and smoothly, try to reduce the stop time. Rotate, rotate. This rotate, rotate feeling. So you're, you're minimizing this stopping point. Do you understand? It's still kind of mechanical. It's still kind of just purely training rather than anything else but you're trying to minimize that stoppage between yeah. the preparation finish like and the execution. Mechanical. Yeah, so we, we kind of hit that point of preparation, hit that point of execution. Okay. Uh, this is a little yeah. bit different. So, so I, want you to have, I want you to have this sense that, that, first of all, you're stretching your leg. Your leg is stepping into that position. And then from here, your hip, your hip is gonna pull, then ultimately kind of release. And that's gonna kind of whip, whip this hand in. So you're stepping and then whip this hand in. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like a bit of a, like a baseball pitcher that when he's throwing the ball, it's not like a, like the last one was like at the same time, so we're kind of going in and in. So this this one is a little bit like cascading, so our legs going, hips going, hands going. So this leg going, leg hip hand, leg hip hand to to kind of uh, come in to this position. Yeah, but our hip is going, he's pulling, pulling, pushing, pulling, pushing. So it's like a little bit like when we prepare and execute it, but it's not synchronized like before. Like before, everything was synchronized with our hip, so our leg and a hand move at the same time, yeah? Leg move, hand move, leg move, hand move. Whereas this one, leg is moving first, then our hip, then our hand. This leg, hip, hand feeling. This leg, hip, very basic, was in opposition, yeah? Opposition, rotate this way, rotate this way, then opposite rotation as we drive in. That's the first one. Second one was our foot was going first, then our hip was going, and then we're going to finish in opposition as this finishes in. This one, we are going this way, and only this way. So we're going with the limb. With the limb, connect feeling. With the limb, connect. Most of the time we do Gakazuki like this, yeah? I'm sorry, get on Brian like this. Where we are, where we are defensively moving in opposition. Okay? We can also do this. This, this fit. Then I'm moving in. And this makes it much more heavier. So like having this feeling of this fit. Not basic. It takes longer. Do you understand? Yes. Where my body is moving. I want you to have this sense that you're going with it. I want you to kind of like, oh, he's going to hit. No, he's not. As opposed to Jordan, one, two. Or Jordan, one, two. Like they're different. Same technique, different application, different use of your hip, different timing produces three different types of, of meaning. Above all else, karate is dynamic. It means forever changing. It's never set. Oh, this is the way that we do that. No, it's not. That's the way that you've just done it. Then it's gone. It's finished. Okay? Do something else now. So oh, punch is going to connect to it. Connect. This. Connect. Do you understand? This. this like, classically, he and Nidan, for example, is... And we do this biomechanical... Like, and it's one of the reasons why we're often criticised in uh, kind of, I don't know, the MMA kind of guys who, I mean, that's not, has no functionality at all. The biomechanical process does, the kind of way that we're trying to coordinate our hips does. Like this kind of fine tuning of our sensor is really important, but like, yeah, but there's lots of different ways to apply this, lots of different reasons why we would do it one way or another. And so we're just trying to make our movement dynamic. Uh, but like sometimes people, one of the criticisms that is given to Shotokan, which is kind of accurate, is that many Shotokan practitioners have become very set with how, well, this is how it's done. This is how my sensei said, this is how it has to be done. If you don't do it this way, you fail your grading. 
So like that's true, that happens a lot, yeah? We, we want to avoid that as much as possible. So for now, I want to give you the same, I want to give the same <laughs> <is> lower, <laughs> then the, yeah, you kind of maybe come in this way, right? Uh, if it's a little bit higher, then on this kind of thing. So this is just a function of kind of controlling where, where this, this, this is coming from. But ultimately, you're covering. If it's kind of, if it's a little bit lower, and you're kind of covering this way, then maybe you're coming this way, a little bit higher, maybe this way, that kind of thing. But have that connection. He's coming, this is a crown feeling. So first of all, I want you to kind of connect. This connect the center, then ball feeling, yeah? So this is, uh, Sankoff told me, oh, we, haven't the, we haven't done the jump in, yeah? But, but in, who, who knows make your? Little bit. Okay. So in <laughs> there's this. Uh, from here, you are going two, 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 yeah. And then this is this is a jump, and it's this foot. Then this, unlike any other short can movement, where both any other short can jump, where both feet land together. In Mako, it's right uh, right foot then left foot lands, and you have this ta one two. So this is this is kind of. This is kind of um, a different way to break Or Yuzuki comes, I want to move and then move him along. If you try to add full power and he resists, you move him a little bit and then you add full power. Do you understand? Okay? I want you to kind of get used to that and then when you get used to that, add that jump. So all we're going is one, two, three feeling, yeah? So this one, Two, three. You understand? And this is a mixture of both. We'll talk about this in a minute, but just try. It's a mixture of both. So, firstly, connect this basic dong, and then swing, and then from here, this connection through relaxation. That's all we do. Okay? Move with them, pushing down. Eventually, you kind of put all your body weight onto that. Break. <laughs> So ground, push, body weight down. There were three originally, and uh, and so like often, like uh, for example, there are in not in Shotkan per se, but in Shotkan world, there is make your shodan, which we're doing, make your nidan, which I sometimes teach, make your sandan, which I know, but I very rarely teach. Uh, but there's certainly three, and and in other styles, there are make your or rohai, which is another kind of older name for it. Uh, Rohai Jo Chu Get Jo Dan Chu Dan Get Dan Jo Chu Get And so that's why for example Skiff um, They have kind of since you changed it Because of course we do Get on Brai twice <coughs> no? And then the second last one we do Uchu Ke But they do jo, uh, Get on Brai first Next one Uchu Ke And the last one Ag Ke Get on Chu Dan Jo Dan So, so that, it's kind of like um, Kind of acknowledging the past a little bit more Yeah so, so the way that we do it, the way that generally people are doing it, unless Kanazawa kind of, Sensei changed it uh, for this Ag UK as well, is, is how Funiko Sensei taught it. Where it's an amalgamation, uh, taking some parts of the, of the original Rohai Shodan Nidan Sandan, or Jo Chu Get, and then kind of making it. Make sure you don't lose your sensor as you start. And also don't over block. Have a sense of blocking Jordan and Chu Dan, but not making yourself vulnerable. So as, as you as you step, you're blocking both. Keep that hip engaged. Don't don't break this line. And shoulders back. Then from here, completely in. Try to get your elbows together as well. This in, more importantly, shoulder and pecs pulling in. This feeling before you open. Okay? Then these blocks. So you have to kind of figure out which one you're gonna do. Are you gonna be that that basic just squeeze and punch? And then come. Or are you going to kind of whip your hand? And whip your hand. Yeah? Or are you, from this point, are you going to go with it? And have that short feeling. Short feeling. Short feeling. Like, like you have to decide what you're going to do. Yeah? Um, then from here, try ball of foot pivot. Engage this way around. So from here, hand first. And then ball of foot pivot as you go into coconut snatch. Then from here, only way forward. You're in Hamney, maintain that position as it's coming round, and just drive your power forward. Not showman, just shizen, natural position, hand forward. As if you're holding a staff or an arm, this kind of feeling. And then this is going to rotate, 
as this pushes down. So this is kind of feeling of letting go and pushing, although you still keep your form. This feeling, this feeling. So from here, 10. And you're looking this way. But don't overly rotate this way. Don't have hand knee, just natural position again. We're looking to the side. Then again, smoothly moving. Keep this hip engaged. Then again, you decide which type of block are you doing before again rolling. That's your straight line stance. You're coming round and driving forward. You maintain that straight line stance. And then you again maintain that straight line stance. At no point does it become wide. Also, kind of get comfortable with not being in either Hamney or Shawman. Like I can see a lot of you kind of trying, oh, is this, you know, trying to kind of, uh, from here, is this completely kind of family feeling or showman feeling or is this showman feeling? Like sometimes that just doesn't work. There's plenty of times when you're just in literally shizen, natural position. And these, this, this showman and family is just merely describing a point of a spectrum, right? Equally important is shizen position, natural position. As equally as important is like Ma Hamni, completely back, or Gaku Hamni, completely over rotated. These are just points within a spectrum, and no one is more, more viable or less viable than the other. Do you understand? It's just about projecting your weight forward. You can have this very basic, very basic driving in feeling, or this whip feeling, or this going with it, yeah? Like case by case. Your choice. A little bit like the Ginnam Bride in the infantry case, yeah? Um, so, so your choice. But, from here, either way, make sure you're landing in solid stance. Then you've got to facilitate this rotation, so ball of foot rotate. Keep your hand where it is, don't try to move this. Just keep on because you can get them blocked. And as you drop your weight, you're landing in this double grand bride. Before making this double block. Then exact same, good hikite, double block. Before left hand goes first, left leg stepping. So left hand first with this double grand bride. Before, right hand first, double uchuke. And yoriash, orizuki, don't rotate. Keep orizuki. Then good hikite, get this hand to your hip before you make hajuku. Then remember, yesterday we were talking about how land, land. Not the same time. But first my right foot landing, then my left foot. So from here, I'm jumping, ha, one, two. As I make this stop. Then last one.